Gosh, I just pray that this is the end. <laughs> An emotionally exhausted Sherry Ballard admitting another search in the years-long investigation into the disappearance of her daughter, Crystal Rogers, is taking its toll. When the FBI took over the investigation in August 2020, several high-profile search warrants were executed, eventually leading agents to the Woodlawn Springs subdivision. On Tuesday, excavation efforts were observed at a home built by Rogers' boyfriend, Brooks Howe, the only suspect named in her disappearance. On Wednesday, the FBI returned, bringing with them a mobile command unit and seemingly more equipment, zeroing in on a spot near the property's driveway. They have some huge equipment there, and I don't think they would bring in all that equipment if there wasn't a reason for it. So that gives me encouragement right there. One neighbor who asked not to be identified sat outside Wednesday watching and hearing the digging. He couldn't help but notice how diligent the teams of federal agents were on day two. Their shirts are soaking wet. I told my wife, I don't see how they stand it. They are working hard. Sherry Ballard has full confidence in the FBI. In fact, this same property is one she and her late husband Tommy searched during their own investigation. And she believes agents may be able to find something they didn't. Based on her conversations with the FBI, she says she feels encouraged. But after six years, she says she is careful not to get her hopes up. I just feel like if this isn't it, I'm going through everything again. So. I'm just hoping that this is it. And back here live tonight, Stefan and Jennifer, I want to let you know the FBI has been extremely tight-lipped about this investigation so far. They have not yet commented on what they're looking for or even what they have found. But tonight, it's worth pointing out that in the past few hours this afternoon, we did see several trucks leave with slabs of cement coming uh, up this road here presumably from the site that is being excavated. And it is my understanding the FBI will be back here tomorrow for a third day. Reporting live in Bardstown for you tonight, I'm Lauren Adams, WLKY News.